you like to catch small fish like rock bass and bluegill but you don't necessarily like to flay them, you might like to know that there's another way to prepare them to eat. Now the first thing you need to do is get the scales off the fish and I just hold on to the head and use my fillet knife to scratch the scales off. You possibly can make this process a little bit easier if you have one of those flay boards that has a clip on the end or if you have a knife that's specifically designed to use to scale fish. But I just use what I have. You want to be sure to get all the scales off, even the ones right beside the fins and the tail, because you might actually be eating those. Once you have them all off, then you cut off the head of the fish just behind the gills and then clean out the inside. There's one optional step that I like to do as well and that is I make several vertical cuts starting at the tail and I cut about every one inch and I cut down to the backbone or to the rib cage all the way up to the front. That just helps the breading and the grease get down into the, into the meat some and makes it a little more crispy and tasty. Once you get the fish to the kitchen you want to wash them off to make sure you don't have any loose scales lying around. To fry these up you can use exactly the same procedure as you would use to deep fry fish fillets. I don't actually use a deep fryer, I just use an ordinary pan and I put enough oil in it to submerge half the fish so I can then flip it and do the other side. Once these are fried up you can um, actually eat the, most of the fins of these, they taste a lot like bacon or potato chips and you can use a fork to take the meat off the bones and it's a very tasty way to eat fish.